Next, childcare providers are warning that their sector is in crisis as new data shows that hundreds of nurseries have closed across the southeast in just six months. Nursery providers say problems recruiting staff and financial pressures mean that more and more of them are having to close their doors. Fiona Irving has our report. They're trusted to look after the youngest, but are struggling to stay open. This nursery in Canterbury has been caring for two, three and four-year-olds for five decades. It was Ofsted rated as outstanding in the summer, but it's not sure how long it can stay afloat. The government funding doesn't cover our costs and it's, yeah, it's tough. We have to, we're constantly fundraising, constantly looking to make up that 25% deficit and it's really, in terms of sustainability, both in manpower and um, monetary, it's very, very hard. And as nurseries up and down the region close, it's becoming increasingly difficult for parents to find suitable childcare. Every nursery that I rang around had absolutely no spaces at all until like, it was like a year and a half waiting list. So for people to get their children into it's quite difficult. For a lot of parents that are going back to work and that is just really hard. It's just, and it's going up in price, so it's really expensive and just getting harder and harder to find childcare. The problem we've had is finding a nursery that can provide for her needs. Um, we tried a few, uh, most of which said that they were limited on space for children with SEN needs. Once you find a place, you tell everybody that this is the place to go, um, and then you hope that this will be there longer. This has been here for 50 years, and we hope that it will continue. Now new figures from Ofsted have shown just how many nurseries have had to pack it in. Between March and August this year, 242 childcare providers in the southeast closed. Some new ones did open during that time, but the total number of early years providers in the region was down by 90. And although there were fewer providers, the number of childcare places in the southeast actually went up during the same period by 272. The number of places is absolutely irrelevant. If you, you could have a hundred place, for example, nursery, but you've only got enough staff to accommodate 40 children. And that's the situation we're in at this particular point in time. So the number of places is absolutely irrelevant. What is relevant is whether nurseries and childminders can keep their doors opening. And I have to say, over the last decade, we've witnessed a massive exodus of providers from the sector. The Department for Education says it is investing in early years by expanding 30 free hours of childcare from nine months old. And it's investing hundreds of millions of pounds to increase hourly funding rates. It also says it's launching a new national recruitment campaign and introducing an apprenticeship scheme. But for nurseries who are struggling now, that may be too little and too late. Fiona Irving, BBC South East Today, Canterbury.